All right, I'm back with another video. This is on uh, Dragon OS Pi 64. It's a build that I will have uploaded uh, by the time this video comes out or shortly after. It's uh, the R28 build, and this is a Raspberry Pi 4. Goal of this video is to get the Nexmon drivers. You can see uh, over there on the right the About C-based firmware patching, excuse me, for the Broadcom. Wi-Fi chips that enables monitor mode. So I've tested this on the Pi 4, and so I'll walk through it. Everything you need, minus this repo that we're about to pull down, should be in place to make this as easy as possible to build. Uh, once we get that, we'll take a look at, um, I'll basically just show you that you can start, I've already tested this, but I'll show you you can start Kismet. You can use it to enable monitor mode, and then, We'll take a look at another uh, project I, I don't think I've talked about before that's built into the Dragon OS Pi 64 image is this uh, chasing your tail program uh, that's going to work along with Kismet in the monitor mode. Uh, you can see tool for using wireless signals to see if you're being followed around. All right, so let's get this going. We're going to clone uh, this particular repo, this um, fork that works on Arch64. You can check out the main repo and read about Nexmon. This is just a particular fork I've been watching for a while now and for me it, it, uh, it works well. So we can just go right into wherever. Downloads, if you want to keep things clean, do a git clone. I'll cut out parts of this that take uh, a lot longer to move along, especially like when we're building the firmware. So you might see pieces of the video missing. All right, I'm back. The uh, repository is downloaded. We're going to change directory into Nexmon, and we'll see why I didn't include all this by default. You're looking at about two and a half gigs there. Now I should note when you build this. Uh, you're, you're building it against, in this case, this particular kernel. So you may have to redo this, or the kernel patches at least, when you uh, upgrade the kernel. So just keep that in mind. So we've got this downloaded, and we're going to come down some pretty good directions here on this page. I'm just going to skip on down to... building uh, for the Pi 3 Plus and 4. <clears throat> You'll see we'll use BCM 43, 43, 55C0. Everything is in place all the way down to right here. So let's see how we can get this set up. So I'm going to change to root, password dragon by default. I'm going to source this setup environment, change patches, BCM, what we just said a second ago, 43, 43, 55, 43. Ah, can't type that right. 4345. See, zero. You'll notice there's three different directories that we can go into. Uh, what I've been recently testing with is the 189, and I ran for probably about three or so hours with Kismet in monitor mode and didn't have an issue. Your mileage may vary. I'm just going to stick with the 189 for now. Change into that directory. We will compile the patched firmware, and again, I'll be back once it, well, that was pretty. Hmm. 
<laughs> Gotta come back up here to the main level directory. It's important uh, following directions here and actually run make in that top level directory next month before we move on. All right, so now we've ran make in the top level directory. Now we can go into patches, BCM, 4345, C0, and I'll stick with that 189, run make. Hmm. One more directory, next mon, make. make a backup of the firmware and then we will install the firmware. We can also do this uh, next util uh, but I've not found that I needed to use it yet but we'll go ahead and do that so if we Change back up to nextmon into utilities, uh, next util, and we'll make it and make install. I did. Uh, I also did not remove the WPA supplicant. It probably doesn't hurt. It's optional to turn the power save off which I did when I was running Kismet. Okay, I did not uh, connect to access points. I did not use the following to uh, make a monitor mode interface for Kismet. That may be something that you can do separately. But say right now this uh, kernel module and firmware is loaded and we want to have it on reboot still be in place. So let's go ahead and copy what you would want to do first brcmfmac.ko you want to back up or move user oh, let's see I'm not going to type all this out this is where the original one is located that to home Ubuntu RCMF Mac KO.org and let me think here we can say driver here we go so we are on the 
15. And we want to copy that modified file into where the original one was sitting. User lib modules, so on and so forth. So we're copying that to there. That shouldn't harm it uh, because it was already loaded. We just moved it. So now we should be good. Let's we can exit being root. Let's take a look at setting up chasing your tail that's in the home directory. We want to make a directory called Kismet Logs. This could be a little smoother. Uh, you can modify where Kismet puts log files and I will point out that uh, this chasing your tail program there's actually uh, another branch I, I found pretty interesting didn't actually find it till today this map branch that adds some pretty uh, cool features so I'm going to take a look at this but you can look at the prereqs file and you can see how there's could be some further tweaks to this I don't have this branch installed yet so we're just going to stick with the basic stuff here so we're testing multiple things here. Let's change into the Kismet logs. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to start Kismet here, which will create file or uh, log files here. So if I run Kismet, we're going to see that we can make our username and password for the first time logging in. Now, let me think, how can I do this? Uh, we will start it, and because uh, I don't feel like blocking out all these MAC addresses. So you'll see here in a second, I'll cut a piece out, but you'll see how you can find that onboard Wi-Fi for the Pi 4 BRCM FMAC. I'm going to enable that and then I'm just going to move a page in front of this. So we can see that it is working and behind here you can see the number going up. So we know that's working. So now let's pull up. So at this point we have monitor mode working with the onboard wireless uh, on the Pi 4. Kismet is working. Let's go back into chasing your tail. We'll do a Python 3 CYT GUI. All right, so we're going to use Python 3 to start up this um, GUI for chasing your tail. We can click check status. We can see Kismet is up uh, monitor mode. The reason why it's saying it's not detected is because it's not looking for the correct interface, but that's fine. Kismet is running. So now if we run um, run chasing your tail, you can also create ignore lists for particular MAC addresses that you want to ignore. So normally you'd like run this and you know where you're at and build up a, a log file in Kismet of devices that are around you and then you can uh, edit things that you want to ignore but so now we're gonna run chasing your tail you can see that it is pulling data from a kismet log file that we made and because I started this after the fact you can see there's already 111 max added to within the past five minute list now if I sit here long enough this would begin to grow and roll over and different SSIDs would be in different uh, lists and you could kind of get an idea of how you can use this uh, for its intended purpose. So really that's kind of all I, I have but this I feel like should be pretty helpful to get 
Uh, if you don't have a external wireless card, you really want to use the internal Wi-Fi on the Pi. Now the only thing I can say is uh, what we did here should stick when you reboot and then you will be able to have your Nexmon drivers. I have not um, checked any sort of stability when connecting to an access point. I don't think it would affect any of that. Uh, but you do have the backups that you made and you could put the kernel modules and the firmware back. Uh, or you could just reflash uh, Dragon OS Pi 64 again. Alright, so I hope that was uh, helpful. Thank you.